did this and name this one gold02. And let's apply it here. There we go. Let's open it up. So this is the map that controls our specular uh, layer, specular color map, layer 12. Huh? So that's our specular color. And this is our layer 12. All right. Now let's use another pattern here. So that's the image that we are using right now, right? And let's use maybe something like this. Okay. And obviously I want to use the invert of what we have right now. So let's use a complement here, insert after input all. Okay. Then we have the UV transform. Uh, if you want, you can change it, but I don't think it matters that much. And also the map itself, maybe we can increase its scale UNV a tad. Okay, and in the color correction, uh, I'm going to just zero out the exposure, maybe add some contrast by decreasing the gamma here. Okay, so something like that. And in the curvature shader itself, let's me maybe decrease the radius, one, zero out the threshold, and we have another curvature map, and this is the resulting map that we have here and I don't think we need to change anything else here but let's see what we are going to get compared to the previous result that we had okay so this is what we have and I think uh, maybe we can add a bit more contrast to these uh, scratched areas so what I can do is to simply open the network and let me just render this section here. This is the map that controls our specular roughness and let's see, there you go. Maybe I can make this color just a tad brighter Maybe do something like this and press OK. Great. And in the specular roughness in the first layer, this is what we have. Maybe I'm just going to the sharp uh, parts and just make them a bit more rough compared to what we have. And in the specular weight map, um, maybe just make it a bit more contrasty there you go and if i connect the bump directly as you can see now we have a bit more contrast in those areas okay now let's see what we're going to get if we render the entire ipr okay folks so this is our ipr and if i compare it to our previous render and I did change one thing if I open up the network here the UV transform shader uh, as you can see I zeroed out the rotation change here so basically this is doing nothing right now and we can safely delete it but and this is uh, with the UV transform and this is without it to just get a bit different distribution here and this is our first render so okay uh, now I want to create one more version from this first material and just change the layer color node, this one that basically controls our specular color and our roughness map here. So let me just apply this here and open it up and let's get started. So for the first layer I'm going to be using uh, so this is basically this map that we are changing right now okay so 
for the first map, let's use um, maybe something like this. Okay. So that's the first map. I don't need the UV transform shader here. So let's just delete this. And if I connect this directly, this is the map that we're going to get. Scale maybe to something like four here. And we need to use a color correction. Maybe decrease the gamma, something like this. And I'm going to in increase the exposure, maybe to something like 2.5. But also, I'm going to be using a clamp node to clamp the wall use so they would be between zero and one. Okay. So there you have it. And what this clamp node does and the reason I'm using it uh, is I'm using a high exposure value for this map. So there might be some pixel that are uh, just basically out of dynamic range. And by using this clamp node here, I can make sure that my values will stay in a reasonable range so we don't get any flickering or any uh, weird, uh, you know, colorful pixels here and there. So that's why I'm using the clamp node here. Okay. Now for the second layer, which is the curvature shader, uh, what I'm going to do is to maybe just decrease the radius if I connect this directly and you no, know, maybe spread can be a bit more and the threshold let's just increase it also and the multiply I'm going to be controlling it with a map so let's load a map here and for this one, I'm going to be using BW3 maybe, connect this and let's increase its scale, maybe to four. Okay. And also a color correction. And let's decrease its gamma and maybe just let's connect it to the multiply input of our curvature shader and see how it works. So if I get back to the color correction here, let me increase the exposure so it would be a bit more visible. There we go. So that's uh, what we have right now. And for the third layer, let me use another image here. And maybe I have this map 58, which is another version of the map 56 that we have used before but uh, just a bit contrast here compared to what we have here, okay? So BW58, let me connect this here. And actually, I think the distribution is okay. Maybe we need just maybe offset it a bit. I don't know, let's see. Let's... I'm just trying to find some nice distribution here. Maybe that's nice. Okay. And 
another color correction here. Insert after input. And let me just maybe increase the exposure. And again, clamp the values to make sure. And that's going to be our layer three here. So layer three and increase its visibility and change its blending mode to lighten. So that's what we're gonna get. And I don't think we need to change anything else. If I connect the bump map, we should be able to see the final results. Okay, folks, so this is what we are having here. And I think it's pretty nice. Uh, and especially after we export it out to After Effects and do the color correction and compositing in there, it would look much better. Uh, we're done with the gold shaders. And now we can focus on the red part of the Iron Man suit. And let's do it. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. It was a free sample from our course developing realistic shaders in Arnold for Cinema 4D Volume 2. To watch the rest of this lesson and tons of other video tutorials, make sure to visit our website mographplus.com and check the entire course out. Also, don't forget to check the first volume of this course. See you next time.